everyone. So I just wanted to film this project share for what I've been working on this weekend. Not really, um, it is crafty related, but it is for, you know, for actually for my mother. She's helping to organize a banquet um, that's happening this month. And she asked me to make the table numbers <laughs> because she liked the ones that I had made for my wedding reception. So I agreed to do that. And so you're looking at the actual finished numbers that I made. Um, and I'll also show you what else I did for the project. So, um, let me just move this and I'll cover it up until I get it all situated because I don't want to make anybody dizzy. Okay, so the first thing she asked me to do was not the table numbers actually, was all these little doilies that she had me cut. I, um, or that she had me do for her. I had something similar to this um, for my reception and so she asked me to cut some for the tables and this is for the centerpiece. There'll be a, um, a vase of flowers and um, I cut these doilies using my Cricut and I actually I think this came from the um, cartridge that's the um, close to my heart cartridge I think. It's one of the early ones, the art artist or something like that. I don't know. I can look it up if anybody's curious what what um what this cartridge was. Um as you can see there's a lot of flowers on it. And so this is the color um for the event um along with some others, but this is the main color because of what they're having it for. I um for the and I I just bought this recollections paper from Michaels. Um so it was already this color. I could have cut I could have um had them printed um, as it was cutting because I do have an imagine but I didn't want to go that route this time because it uses a lot of ink to do a whole page like this so anyway I just purchased the color that was closest to what she was looking for and cut the doilies out um, this is out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper so this is a good size and then as you can imagine there would be like some sort of centerpiece sitting on top of it and um, one of the things that'll be inside the vase will be these number um, table numbers. And so what I did for the table numbers, I um, cut out these little shapes, um, and I think this is about six by six. Um, it's it's it fits four to a sheet of twelve by twelve piece of paper. So you can make two signs out of a twelve by twelve piece of paper because it's double sided, and this shape actually comes on the Cricut Expression too. Um, as one of the shapes. I didn't actually put a cartridge in. So this is already on the Cricut Expression 2 and um, I cut two shapes for each table number because it is double sided. And then I used um, the Tim Holtz numbers. It's actually called uh, Numeric and here's the um, let's see if I can get that in camera. Here is the um, item number and they're these big uh, numbers here on, on that are rubber stamps, and they're from Stampers Anonymous. So this is actually a great use of my stamp. I had not used it until now, so lucky number 13. Um, so I stamped that with Momenta ink, and then I also put some glitter, um, black glitter on it that I had left over and never had used, so I thought that would kind of make it pop a little bit. And... The other thing that I've used are these um, plastic, these are actually plastic garden um, labels. So you stick these down into the dirt and you write, you know, what the, the plant is. And instead of doing that, um, this is a great surface because it's flat and you can sandwich it between the two uh, numbered pieces of paper, which is what I did here. So that's how I got little piece on here and then I dyed my own seam binding um, I had white seam binding and I dyed it with my um, Tattered Angels um, Glimmer Mist in Moonlight and there was another color it was two colors that I used um, but Moonlight is is actually the color of what you're seeing here the other one is a little bit purpley and then I also used some water to help extend out the color and also make it a little bit lighter because I didn't want it to go too dark. So this is all the seam binding that's left over. Um, I did not use a whole roll. A whole roll is a hundred 
typically and I use probably about a third of the roll and I still have left over so I can use that for my own projects or send it to her if she needs some extra uh, numbers. So this is my project. I had to make 40 there are 40 tables and so I had to make 40 of these numbers and 40 of these doilies to cut out. So that's what I've been working on all weekend. Um, I didn't get any crafting for myself in, unfortunately. But hopefully I will do that um, sometime soon. So that's my project chair, and I hope you liked it, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.